Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today we're going to be doing something, I say it's quite a bit, but we are going to be doing something a little bit different because I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, new Mushkin Ventura Pro USB 3 flash drive or pen drive or USB drive, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you're from. Um, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at this today. I'm just going to pop it out of the box quick. Before any of you wonder if I've cut myself, it's actually red dye. But anyway, right, so we're going to take this out of the uh, packaging quickly and we'll have a look. Basically, once the camera focuses, uh, this section around the outside is all uh, metal. Um, and I wondered originally why they would make these metal, but they do actually get quite warm when they're being used. Uh, there is if I just pop the cap off, there is plastic on the inside, around here, and on the end. Um, and the end does light up when it's being accessed or used, but obviously you've got a clip there so that you can clip it to a key ring or anything should you wish. You can also see the uh, plastic on the end section there when the camera decides it wants to focus. I'm not even that close. There we go. So you've got plastic on the end section there, but all of the black on this is metal. It does feel quite nice. Uh, and just for comparison today, just to be able to, because obviously we've never done one of these before, I've also got a USB 3 Kingston DT Ultimate 32 gigabyte. And this is one that I've had for a little while that they gave me ages back. But anyway, we're going to be taking a look at the Mushkin. Now what I'm going to do is just pop it this is my trusty um, Vio that I've done a video on before. Uh, just to let you know, it's got a uh, Core i5 Sandy Bridge set processor in there. Um, 8 gigabyte of RAM, 128 gigabyte uh, Kingston V100 solid state drive in it, and that's what we're going to be moving the files off and to the other drive. Um, and obviously it's got USB 3, so we're just going to chuck the USB 3 stick in the side. You can see it's instantly popped up there. Now, we're going to be using a program called HD Tune Pro to do a lot of the tests with today. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see. Now, all you need to do is go up to the top, select the Mushkin drive, which is what I've just done, and we're going to be testing the read to start off with. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that run initially, and then uh, we'll come back and uh, you can, if I move it down a little bit actually, there we go, we'll let that run initially and uh, you can come back and have a look in a second. Right then peeps, the test is completed and you can see here that we've actually got a really steady line pretty much throughout the whole of the test apart from one little blip here. Um, and basically that little blip took it down to 108.2 megabits a second, which is um, the, fastest, the slowest that it got to. Fastest was 130.4, which meant we had an average, as you can see down this side, of 129.6 megabits a second for a pen drive, which is pretty enormous, really, when you consider it. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to break off and I'm going to run this, the Kingston drive just quickly as well so that you can get an instant comparison with the Kingston for reads. Okay then peeps, just quickly, and like I said, this is just to show you a comparison. This is the uh, Kingston DT Ultimate 32 gigabyte. As you can see here with the results, you can see that there's spikes all over the place throughout the whole range of the test. And the uh, minimum uh, read speed was just 62.7 megabit a second, which is still pretty impressive for a, um, a pen drive, bearing in mind, because if this was on USB 2, then you'd be lucky to see 20, 25, even 30, you know, so it's, it's twice on from that. But it's just to show you quite how good the, um, the Mushkin one is. The fastest that we saw was 81.6, uh, and the average was 73.7 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get set up quickly to sh do some uh, write tests, and this gets a little bit complicated, so... Uh, uh, anyone that's likely to get confused, uh, you're probably better off just skipping through the video now. Anyone that's actually interested in seeing some stuff being buggered about with, then uh, yeah, stay tuned. Right then, peeps. This is where it gets complicated. Because we can't do uh, a proper uh, write test, 
because of, uh, to be able to do that with HD tune, you have to um, delete the partition and basically write it onto something that's not technically there, and that's how it does it. So where there's a partition on it, uh, HD tune won't let me do it. So what I've done is over here, there's a file and it's called USB 3 test. And I've used a dummy file program to create a random file, so it's not compressible, and that's 10 gigabytes. And then what we're gonna do is pretty much cut it from the uh, main hard drive, which is a Kingston solid state drive, and paste it into the Mushkin drive. Now, HD tune here will follow the read and writes for both of the drives, which gets a little bit confusing. But the thing to really take note on is the current speed, current write speed when we do it. Uh, and that will give you a rough idea of uh, how fast that the uh, Kingston drive is writing to it. Because obviously we're just going to be reading from the, um, uh, the, the Kingston drive, like the solid state drive. So what I'm going to do quickly is just control and X this. And then I'm instantly going to control and paste it into... Um, Now, if I zoom you back in again, you'll be able to see that we're doing uh, write speeds here. It's 78.9 at the moment. And that's really the kind of the, where you want to be looking. So it gives us a good indication that the drive, I mean, it will spike around a little bit because obviously I've been doing other tests and stuff and there's going to be blocks there. But you can see it's, it's consistently in the, the high 70s. Now obviously this is right in a 10 gigabyte file. We've got that there and it's, this is basically, it, the, the Windows file reads it slightly differently to be perfectly honest with you. Oops, I do apologise. But you can see there it right in like I said, it's consistently up in the high 70s. It sits there for a lot longer. You get the odd dip um, where it will go down to, uh, seen as low as 25. But, no, oh, that went down to 3, just as I said it, just to prove me wrong. Now, you may find it a little bit boring to be kind of sat here while I'm transferring a 10 gigabyte file. But this is transferring or writing as quick as a lot of um, mechanical hard drives would be. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you because 10 gigabytes is a fair old amount of data to be transferring across. Obviously it's these numbers here that you really want to be paying attention to. So there you go then. Finished transferring that 10 gigabyte file and as you can see it didn't really take that long at all did it? What we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to uh, obviously move it back onto the solid state drive. Then we're going to try the uh, Kingston drive. I just thought I'd show you quickly. I'm just going to exit off of this drive and then paste it back on the Kingston. And just show you just how quickly it does it where it's got a much higher read. So we'll do it both ways basically. Now I know this isn't the most scientific test in the world. I also know it's not the most stimulating test in the world for you to watch. But I'm just trying to give you a, uh, an indication of quite how fast this drive is.
Right, there we go, it's finished that bit already. And you can see that the, the sizes of the blocks are much, much smaller from uh, what would be the right to the read. And that just, that's just a, another indication to show you how fast the read is on the, uh, the Mushkin drive. But now, like I said, I'm gonna break off and we'll now do the uh, right test for the Kingston. Right then peeps, we're onto the Kingston drive now with the right. I'm just going to uh, paste it in and then we can uh, have a look and watch the speeds that it's, it's writing at. And at the moment it's, it's around 60, uh, low to mid 60s, let's put it that way. There we go. It's these speeds down this side that you want to be taking note of. Look at that giant pen! Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, like I said, um, I know this isn't the most stimulating a test, but it, I just wanted this is the best way I had of really showing you in a video quite how good the Kingston is. Uh, the reads are above what I would call average, um, mid to high 70s, you know, relatively consistently. So even if you said 70 megabyte a second. Uh, sorry, right. That's brilliant. Um, but consistently high 20s, kind of like around 130 megabyte a second read speed is absolutely blazing. Um, so uh, if you do, obviously it's going to take a little bit of longer for you to copy your files onto the drive. But if you're going to be using it to do a lot of reads, um, say for argument's sake, something I quite like the idea of is maybe having a couple of game, Steam installed on it and a couple of your favourite games on it that you can take around with you, take to mates' houses, do you know what I mean? Maybe you've got a computer at work or something. The driver would be rapid to the point where it'd almost be, especially for reads, it'd be quicker than the majority of the uh, mechanical hard drives out there. It would, read-wise, it would absolutely blitz a Samsung Spinpoint F3. You know, so it's very, very quick in that respect. Um, significantly quicker than the the reads that we were getting on the Kingston, and that's do you know what I mean that's another very well known brand. It's a you know quite an expensive USB stick as well, but the um, the little Mushkin Ventura Pro is brilliant. This one I forgot to say as well is a 32 gigabyte model. They're both 32s, but the uh, the Kingston seems to have levelled out pretty well there. It was doing um, 65.1 then. It seems to be the point. It seems to stick at which is a, a fair, I think it's about at least 10 megasecond um, slower than the Mushkin. So all in all, what would I say about the uh, Mushkin Ventura Pro 32 gigabyte? Um, I, I'm slightly limited in that I've not tested very many of these USB sticks, uh, but if I was going to be advising someone to buy one, it would definitely be this. I really like it, really like it. One thing I will say is they do get warm, both of them do get warm to the touch, uh, so go careful if you have an extended usage sessions. It's not going to burn your skin off or anything like that, but it might make you look twice at it once you try and pick it up. Um, but yeah, very, very good. I'm quite impressed with this. So next time you're uh, on your favourite shop and you're looking for a USB 3 stick for whatever use, whether it's just for hiding files, for security, or... Um, I don't know, taking work to and from uni and stuff. If you need a big, a big drive um, and uh, you want it to be quick, I'd suggest you pick up one of these because it's really, really good. Definitely gets the tiny Tom Logan. Woo, there we go. Thumbs up. So, zoom right back out again. There we go, peeps. Really quite impressed with this. This is definitely going to be going on my... Uh, kind of like most useless because I do use pen drives quite a bit to move files about from machine to machine because sometimes it's quicker. Um, so yeah, this is going to be staying in my hand and I'm going to be using it myself. So for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.